what's up boys i um might have forgot to record an intro for this one but uh i hit up some two uh, twos i hit up some twos with garrett and rizzo yeah i hit up some uh some threes with garrett and rizzo though it, it turns out pretty good but uh i might have been a brick all three games holy shit you'll be able to see Let's jump right in boys oh we're in manfield storming I can't really appreciate the storm with um with weather effects off. It's all good though. Should have time for this. Not quite sure where the guy challenged from the back. I could have lost the 50-50 if he didn't honestly. That's a decent clear. It could end up being over him. At least a bad touch. Let's see. Out by Gary. I can't really go for it. I'm gonna pick up pads and try to shadow him. Because he misses. I can get the ball though. Try to play it mid for someone. He's got a bump on him. Took his boost as well, so he could be really low. That might seem move up. Oh. Uh, important to mention I know like my two teammates, like I'm playing with Rizzo and Garrett, so I know kind of what they're capable of and what I should expect. I mean maybe not when Garrett's AFK, but like when he's actually playing, I know what to expect, right? Yeah. I mean Garrett kind of got confused on each other there. I went ahead and challenged because I a lot of the time Garrett will back up back off if him and I are both going for the same ball. So I just kind of expected him to. So decent second touch there upside down. I got it over him, it made his touch backwards. Really poor. Kind of took possession away from them as well. I have no idea what Riz is doing. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to goal. I heard Garrett coming up behind me. So I have a lot of time. Garrett's to my left, so I'm gonna go ahead and play the ball though. I hit it behind them though, so it's not gonna be too good of a play for us. It still work out. I can go ahead and follow this. I should be able to win to the ball and maybe it will fall middle. Awkward for the other team. Oh, Garrett trying to pass. I'm insane. Let's not talk about that one, boys. <laughs> gonna come up the wall. It'd be kind of silly for them to challenge right now. One guy would have been at mid boost and the other guy just hit the ball to the corner so I knew that I had time to take it up and try to make a play on my own. I can't really come into the play now. Garrett's staying up after he gets mid boost. Alright, he starts going back so I can go up for this now. I don't really win out the 50-50 but Garrett... I thought Garrett would be closer so I went ahead and waited. We've been coming out on top of a lot of these 50-50s, which is pretty helpful. Like, even if we're not winning them straight out, they're at least going to our team. So we don't really lose possession by taking them. That was a good first touch by Seabass. He's kind of staying low, so I needed to try to take it high. I should have tried to pop it up higher on my first touch, so I could follow up and hit it towards the uh, towards the crossbar on my second one, just flipping into it. Day I let him get away with taking my boost like that. Alright, I got his boost as well. They should be fairly though. That was a really good shot by Garrett. That wasn't the best by me. I didn't entirely know if Rizzo was going to keep going or if he was going to leave it off for me. So I didn't know when to go up and I just kind of went for it for the hell of it. Luckily we have Garrett so it worked out. So I'm going to go ahead and go to back wall. Rizzo's on the ground still so he'll be there in case there's a low shot coming in. I don't hit my touch. I can't beat him to that one either. Luckily, Garrett's back. I haven't really done too much for our team, honestly. I've been getting demos, but mostly on defense, and while they're taking our boost. Though it's good to get the demo there, it doesn't really uh, give much for our attack forward since I killed someone that was on our side already. With the goalie being sideways here, it was kind of silly not to challenge. His touch was going to be really weak, and then since he wasn't moving and I had all the momentum, it was really easy to win a 50-50 against him. We'll make Rizzo go for kickoff. I don't want it. See, I should be able to win to this. If not, I had speed, so if I would have got contact on the ball, it would have been in 150-50 for me. I see Garrett down. I didn't see the guy challenging, though. So we end up with a 50-50 rather than just a, um, a clean pass to Garrett. Which is fun. We don't get too much out of this right now. 
But I had to touch it so that there wasn't a dunk straight in our goal really early that our team might not have been ready for. Yeah, I couldn't win to the boost there. My team has easy possession of the ball. I missed the bump as well. If I had the bump there, it would have been going towards the ball and it could have caused the other team to panic rather than just hitting it out like they did. I'll miss that no one was really expecting. Garrett's kind of far back, so I can't really hit it across right now. So I'm going to go ahead and try to dribble it out on my own. Maybe get it middle later for someone. After every attack, I'm kind of going all the way back, getting like a corner boost or staying on defense so that my team can stay up. It's kind of important to go back a lot while you're playing threes so that your team can come up for you. It's not good to always stay on the attack like you can on twos. With two teammates, you can rotate a lot easier to be able to keep possession. Oh, that's a pass right there. Holy shit. Can I get a block? No, I couldn't. That's just a really awkward situation that I put myself in there. Yeah. Oh, that was a good win by Garrett. He might hit it out, so I still have to wait. And Rizzo's there as well, so I had to wait even longer. I either could have tried to go faster and just ignored that Rizzo could have got to it, even though he was getting bumped. But I think waiting and then just delaying the play was a lot better there on my part. I didn't really do too much for us this game, but um, holy shit, that guy's toxic. Nobody touched the ball. Do I have this? Okay, that would have been an insane shot, actually. That's oh, all good. Yeah, I didn't do too much for our team. I didn't really mess up defensively too bad, though. So it was all good. Can we still report that guy? Can you report in this menu? Yes. Yes. Alright, back in the game too. Still with our boys. Hopefully I can um do something this game. I screwed off of a 50-50 in the last game and just kinda left my team to do whatever the hell they wanted. It's all good though. You don't have to be a star every game. See, Garrett should be able to get a touch. I'm gonna go ahead and stay middle in case he does. And he didn't. I could have backed up and tried to take a take a shot of that 50-50, but I most likely wouldn't have got anything on it, so I didn't really even bother. Good second touch there by Garrett. Tried to get a shot on goal but got blocked out. Here it has, I'm going to stay up and maybe get the pass. Damn, I misjudged it. I should have took off ball cam there. I would have been able to see where the ball was going. I kind of lost my car with ball cam on there. And going forward, it also kind of uh, put Rizzo off of not... Like, it kind of made Rizzo not go for the ball. Because if we both went, then we would have gotten scored on a lot of the time. Oh, uh, whoops. Okay, this is a clusterfuck I'm going to leave. Sometimes it's better to leave and go for goal if you and your teammates start bumping into each other than trying to stay on the ball. If you have a player that rotates back to goal while you're bumping into each other like that, it can let the pers third person come up and get a clear onto the ball. Let them rotate in, per se. XD. Pass there. I, have I had some time, so I was going to take it. A uh, really bad shot again, though. The demo makes my presence a little bit better up there in field, but... If I put it even near target, someone could have followed it a lot easier. A bit better there, but still high. So yeah, I'm gonna go for a touch early. Just try to beat them to the ball. A 50-50 there is fine. Both my... Uh, Garrett was like going back and Rizzo was there to be able to like contest the second ball if needed. Wanted to hit it just in case the person that was on our side getting boost behind me from their team was going to go for a redirect. Oh, Garrett didn't expect the fake. It's all good though. Oh boy, Rizzo has me. Just hit it. Oh, I was going to hit it back down to him. I should have went a lot faster though. Garrett's pretty low on boost. I don't know if he has any, honestly. So it would have been a lot better for me to just stay a little bit more defensive in that situation. Can't quite win to that. I'm gonna rotate back. I see Garrett coming back now, so I'm gonna go up myself as well. 
Good pass there by Rizzo. Pretty simple finish. Sometimes keeping play simple is better than going up for redirects, like I have been. Especially if your team just, uh, if you know that the players on your team are better than the ones on the uh, opposing team. The only way that you could really lose is by going for too complicated of plays that never connect. I didn't really hear anyone jump for the ball, so I just followed it myself. Uh, scoring here is pretty lucky that like, their last defender tried to challenge there. He definitely should have been staying back, or should have challenged earlier with me that close to the ball. Uh, Garrett might be able to get this on his own. I'm just going to wait back, because Rizzo is going up as well. Oh, uh, yep. That's totally planned. Alright, I went really close to the ball to try to fake him off. I was hoping that he kept driving back to goal. I was too close to the ball to see over it though, so there's no really telling if he was actually there or not. Garrett's kind of far. I think he's AFK again, but should be fine. Yeah, we didn't get scored on. He's back now. He has boost. We should be more than fine for me to go up and take boost like I have. Rizzo went for the follow-up, so I went and tried to bump goalie. I managed to get him to jump. That was a really good shot to finish it off by Garrett, though. I don't think my bump really, or my attempted bump really did too much. Oh, a bit high, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it. Yeah. I really should have got a touch there. Garrett was close enough that it didn't make a difference that I missed or not, though. Garrett's really good at reading his teammates. If he notices that you're gonna miss, he's gonna be able to touch the ball fairly quickly afterwards. Oh, I can't go for that. I have to go back now. I know Garrett's back as well, but we weren't really in a position to keep ball, ball possession, so we both had to go back to our side. Can't go for that. The opponent is way closer, and even getting a dunk there wouldn't have done too much. behind me but I'm able to recover just uh getting simple touch to the side oh shit oh. my touch here wasn't the best I probably could have got a block as well that was pretty bad defense on my part it left Garrett kind of to die because after I missed it just became like an awkward ball for him to try to defend Oh, it almost worked. I was too slow getting my second touch, though. That was a pretty decent fake. Rizzo will be able to challenge, and I can get whatever comes up from that. On defense, I don't like turning for the ball, because the only way you can double commit is if you turn for the ball. The person who's in the back will 99% of the time go for the ball. So there's no point to like try to power side and turn around to catch the attacking team off guard. At least not in threes. It can be a lot better in twos, though. Shit, my nose was so itchy. Oh, it's all good. We're never gonna lose a game. Oh, game three. Big Wolf? Twitch ad. Nice. I think it's him at least. I can check my friends list afterwards. Alright, Rizzo is pretty close, so I went ahead and popped the ball there. I know that he's gonna be quick to it, so there wasn't too much risk there. That's a good follow by return. If he didn't get a quick follow there, I was beating the other two to the ball. I would have... I'd say mostly score, but um... I've missed shots like that before. So yeah, my team kind of has control. I'm sure they know what they're doing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stay back for a second now. Maybe get a heavy hit from someone on the other team. I played it a little bit too far out, so it's hard for Garrett to beat them to the ball there. Oh, they were both coming quick, so I had to get a really fast touch to the ball, so I just tried to hit it to the wall. Decent pass back right there. It allowed Garrett to get a really nice touch, then 
Rizzo could follow up fairly easily. We just kept hitting the ball slightly out of reach of the other team and it led to a goal. I saw him shooting to the corner. He missed the corner boost so he can't really make a play on his own there. I don't know why I tried to hit a boomer there. I'm glad I hit it though. See, this one's not going to come to the wall with very much speed so I'm going to go ahead and hit it out away from the wall. It also put me on the other side of the field so I can try to get a redirect if someone on my team can get the following touch as well. Rizzo doesn't turn in time, I'm gonna go straight to the wall and try to get their touches. Couldn't quite get out for that one though. Not really the best first touch by me to be able to try Not a good one for me to try to follow at least. Unlucky that I got landed on. I would have been able to follow it if I hadn't. If I hadn't get gotten Goomba. Try to stay in middle form, see what happens. Oh, I'm kind of scared of what's happening, and, and I saw that I was the third man back, so I didn't want to overextend and cause my team to get scored on there. Both of them are going up, and I'm low on boost, so I'm going to go ahead and take our corner boost, and then rotate back up and try to help out with the attack later. Not quite what I was expecting there, but I'm still in position to get to it. Decent follow. The 50-50 could have led to a goal if it went out a little bit more, but with how fast I had to get to the ball, it would have been hard to angle my car so that it went even farther middle than it already did. The tournament's up early for that, so I'm just going to go ahead and let him hit the ball and play off of that. I hit it too far. Garrett was going back and Rizzo was still at middle boost. So with how hard I hit it, there's no way anyone could have gotten to the ball for a shot. I don't even have to do anything. This team's too good. That's just kind of a bad touch by Wolfie, though. Rizzo's touch just kind of kept pressure, and then because of a mistake on the other team, we got a goal. Aw, oh, damn. I tried to hit it on the bounce to hit it across, but I caught it a little bit too early. Hit it straight instead. Big clear there. I'll be able to hit the ball middle. Uh, I hit it too far forward again, so no one can really play off of it, but... The best that the other team could do there is just hit a boomer, and my team was ready for that. Uh, not the best pass. I didn't get enough power on it for it to bounce out like I wanted it to. I see Rizzo on the wall, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the ball back to the wall. I gave Rizzo a decent shot, but we definitely shouldn't have scored there either. Wolfie was still recovering. He just got the goal right before the shot, and then he had a bad takeoff, which led to the goal. A good pass there by Garrett. I jumped a little bit too early so I couldn't get under the ball and get a good angle for a shot there. It probably would have been better to try to double jump into the ball there instead of flipping into it like I had. Aw oh, damn. I should have went for a pass there as well. Going for a shot was kind of risky with how rough of an angle it was. Yeah, the other team hasn't been having the best hits off the backboard, so I cheated up a little bit there. If anyone had a bad touch, I would have been able to go up and try to get a shot on goal. <laughs> that would have been nuts if he got that. If it somehow went in. I'm getting bumped, it's all good though. With uh, only 20 seconds left, it'd be hard for us to really lose. So going for more risky plays is acceptable. It's not a good idea, but it's acceptable. Like touches like that. Oh, that's so close. We could have been nuts. Rizzo? Oh, damn. Well, that might have been an easy three games, right there. 